Melissa Sheets remembers what it was like growing up in the Bonnie Doon neighborhood. A lot of shootings going on, guns going off every night. My mom and dad would wake us up in the middle of the night to lay on the floor until uh, the guns stop. Since then, things have started to look up. Not so many guns going off, and um, I feel safer walking down the street <laughs> anyway. In April 2010, the Fable Police Department started the Bonnie Doon Initiative to help clean up not only the crime, but the urban blight in the neighborhood. The goal of the initiative is to tackle the social issues to help the fuel crime rates. The Bonnie Doon area is also linked to our city goal, and that is providing city um, livable neighborhoods to every neighborhood in the city of Fayetteville. And the Bonnie Doon Empowerment Day is a part of that initiative. One of the goals to, for the Bonnie Doon Empowerment Day is to connect with the residents and the tenants that are over here to come together as one with the Federal Police Department and other city departments within the city of Federal. One of the other goals for the Bonnie Doon Empowerment Day is to offer them many of the community resources that are provided in the community because so many people don't realize all of the agency that's out there for them. More than 55 schools, vendors, and organizations joined the event. The North Carolina chapter of the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club decided to roll out in support of the community. That's why we are here today, to come out and give support to the community because we know the uh, streets has taken a whole lot of the youth, and we want to try and take them back, make sure that uh, we can show them a little bit of uh, inspiring, I mean, be doing something better than running the street. And as far as the Bonnie Doon community has come, there's still more work ahead. Getting more of the drugs off the streets and where the kids can play safely outside and um, especially cro maybe some crosswalks that, on the intersection because my child got hit a couple weeks ago going across the streets. Community members along with police officers are making sure everyone has the same basic right. Everybody has a right to live in a crime-free crime -free area in Fedville. Reporting for FPD Blue Light TV, I'm Gab McRoberts.